Hey guys, Matt from NoobQuest.com here with another developer's blog for my butterfly game uh, that I've been working on as I learn the Unity engine. Um, was able to make the project a priority today and got a nice little seven hour session in uh, from this afternoon into the evening and uh, got some new features in here that I'd like to share with you guys. So without too much talking, let's just dive right in. I'll show you what's going on. Um, and then uh, I'll kind of talk you through some of the stuff that I've been learning. So as you can see, a couple new things going on there. I've added this, uh, this shield, which will block enemy missiles and will also run down as you hold it and then run out and then you let go uh, to have it respawn. I added a little sound effect that you can hear when I trigger it. And then also a little unique sound effect uh, for when can actually even turn off the music here for a second um, a little unique sound effect for when you when somebody hits you so that was kind of fun these are sounds sounds that I made in logic um, using a synthesizer and so we've got the shield system which will run down the longer you hold it and then when you release the key uh, it'll get rid of it and start charging back up We've got an uh, ammunition system here. Uh, bullet costs five, so you've got, uh, what is that, 40 shots. Um, health system that we already had. And worked quite a bit with the targeting. Still not quite there yet, but as you notice, when the enemies target you, you get this little sphere that lights up around you, and this sound which tells you you're being targeted. This was something I found um, pretty helpful just so we could kind of tell uh, that, you know, when we're in danger and stuff. And that, that allows an opportunity to trigger the shield um, so that we can kind of have a little bit more decision making going on. And so this has been like really a big part of what I've been thinking about. I've been actually working on this sort of on paper for a bit, just trying to figure out what are the decisions I want the player to be making, right? What's the kind of, what's, what's the challenge of this? And so obviously there's a kind of a positioning element, uh, you know, depending on where you are. Let's just turn the music off for a sec so I can talk over it. You know, there's this kind of positioning element depending on where you are in the space. You know how close you are to these big swarms um, you know whether you want to kind of try to pick them off one at a time um, and then this kind of blocking mechanism now with the shield and a little bit of feedback about when you're under attack uh, with the uh, with the beep um, so you know trying to especially if you want to get into kind of You know, because to me, this is actually the fun part, getting right into the, getting right into the thick of things. Yeah, and I died. <laughs> um, you know, and really mixing it up. But obviously, in the without making that a little bit difficult or having some decision making involved in that, it's just a little bit pointless. So, kind of given this this thing where now we have to manage the amount of shield that we have left. Also manage ammunition. I haven't really tweaked the ammunition balance yet. It's still probably a little more than you you need. I also want to control the rate at which you can fire right now. You just can just kind of button mash and shoot out a bunch. And then I'm also thinking about adding a constraint on the overall game time so that they kind of force you to rush a little bit and make decisions more quickly. 
Um, I want to add some resources that you have to go and pick up in different parts of the map that will be kind of surrounded by enemies. Um, and I'm also thinking about adding the make it so that when you have the shield up, you can't fire. Uh, so that you have to kind of drop the shield, fire, pop it back up uh, to kind of, again, a little risk risk element there that you're going to have to manage. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I've got going. And then just kind of in terms of what I've been learning, I just wanted to share something for those of you guys who are learning as well. Um, I've been working quite a bit with this uh, get component language. Um, and it's a really useful functionality. So what I've got here is... Um, send we got a script here player shield capacity and what this does is it's just actually based off of that health script that I showed you guys before um, it allows you to have your shield charge we've got this regen function down here have the shield run down the more you use it and then if you get out of shield uh, what it'll do is it'll send a message that we're out of shield to the other script, spawn shield, which is what is actually the script where we're telling it to uh, to when we push the button to make the shield. And uh, we got to check first when we do that to make sure that we're not out of shield. Uh, and if we are out of shield, then we can't actually uh, fire off the shield. And so basically what's going on here is we're defining a new variable called shield script. And then the we're using we're targeting this spawn shield here which is actually a script here it's the exact name of the script and then we've got a variable called sc script target and what that does is that allows us to choose what object this spawn shield script is attached to that we want to so basically what instance of this script so in the editor if you look you can see if we go to this player hit trigger which is what uh, tracks the uh, the amount of shield capacity that we have left, I just drag the player butterfly object onto this uh, shield capacity script target slot here to say, okay, what I want to be working on is this script spawn shield here. Um, so really nice kind of way to make that linkage. And then that once we've kind of defined that, then we're going to say, okay, SC script target. So in this case, the the instance of the spawn shield script that's on the butterfly the player butterfly we're going to get a component of that and we're going to the component that we're going to adjust is now so shield script so we kind of stuck all this information inside this variable shield script and now which is a which is a, a game object I, I believe and then uh, what we're going to do is we are going to change a variable in that shield script so in this case that's in spawn shield and we're saying out of shield capacity equals one right meaning we've run out and so we're flipping a uh, a boolean value in spawn shield out of sc i'm actually doing it with an integer because i was having a hard time passing a boolean back and forth but it's the same thing so we start with it at zero meaning we're not out but then once we set it to here if we're out of shield capacity drop the shield excuse me and then uh, that'll prevent us from firing and uh, and doing other things there so that was something that I found a little hard to get going on but has really allowed me to have all these different separate scripts talking to each other and been a really really important uh, part of this process for me so I thought I would share that with you guys uh, if you're in a similar place and you're learning to me and then in terms of my little roadmap here, uh, we added this mana per round. This is really just turned into the ammunition value. At first I had the bullets and the shield coming out of the same pool, but I didn't like the way that played. So I created two separate values. Player health we already had. The GUI to display all three values we've, we've added. The ability for the player to turn the shield on and off and wait for the shield to recharge. We've added in. That was new today. Blocking the enemy missiles with the shield was new today. Uh, these were all here from before. Um, and yeah, so that's basically what I got done for today. Um, if you would like to leave a comment, uh, ask a question, or give some feedback, I'd love to hear from you. You can uh, make a comment either uh, on the YouTube channel or on the blog at noobquest.com. Uh, you can also find me on the unity3d.com forums. 
forum.unity3d.com and my username on there is noob, N-E-W-B underscore quest, Q-U-E-S-T. So come on over there and say hello. Uh, and I uh, hope you're making some great progress with your own projects. And thanks again for watching.